Alrighty, welcome to another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. This is Aussie Gamer 17 and today we are playing Gato Roboto, a game that recently released onto Xbox Game Pass. You know I like to cover the Game Pass guy, uh, games guys and this is no exception. Now on Gato Roboto, this particular walkthrough is going to cover a 100% run of the game, picking up all of the health upgrades. There's 10 of those, 14 cartridges, which is a bit of a collectible, eight new abilities, and then finishing the game. What we're also going to do is something called Sequence Break. I can't remember the exact name of the achievement, but we'll get to that later. Uh, and that requires you to actually beat the second area or the second level of the game prior to beating the first level, hence the name Sequence Break. Uh, the reason this is actually quite difficult is because in the first area, you normally would pick up the double jump ability. I believe the game calls it a spin jump, makes it a lot easier to access certain areas. Instead of grabbing that, we are going to be using a skill called rocket jumping. It is very hard to get the hang of, but once you've got the hang of it, guys, you shouldn't have too much trouble beating the second area without the double jump. Okay, with that said, we're gonna go straight into a new game, guys. The only other thing I wanna to touch on is that this guide does not cover the speed run or the finishing the game without picking up any health upgrades. That would be a separate run, guys. Um, I have attempted the speed run several times and I can't myself get it under an hour at the time of this recording. Okay, at the start of the game, guys, skip the cutscene or watch the cutscene, whatever you wanna do. There's no time restraints in this particular playthrough. So take your time. And once you've got control of the cat, head to the left and we're gonna drop down here all the way and then head to the right. A lot of this is quite fast guys, but I'll try and just keep up and tell you where we're headed. We're headed all the way to the right. We get some dialogue and this is how you save the game. And every time you're here as the cat, you will get your mech suit as you can see here. We can shoot. Uh, and jump obviously that we are now a cat inside a mech suit now when you see those uh, roller doors that just came down behind us that means that you need to defeat all of the enemies in that area before those doors will open up again they will close both sides you didn't get to see the one on the right anyway we're heading all the way back to the left you can ignore a lot of the enemies in this game guys Unless there's those um, doors, you do not get any benefit from taking out all of the enemies. All right, we're heading all the way up and then through the gap at the top of the screen. And we have to head up and to the right, back past where we started. Now what we are gonna do is we're gonna go and get a pickup uh, called the rockets so that then we can do the rocket jumping, guys. Um, but yeah, this is very, very tough to sort of um, keep up with everything, guys. I will have timestamps on where I get all the health upgrades and cartridges and stuff like that. But other than that, you're really gonna need to follow along. So past that save, we're heading to the right and we're gonna fall all the way down here. When you're in the suit, uh, the water will hurt you, so don't fall or touch the water. And we're gonna head across here. The only other benefit for getting rid of enemies, of course, is to just clear a path. We're gonna shoot our way through here and drop down and then head right. And once again, the roller door thing is closed, so we do have to take out these enemies. So yeah, I'm just gonna try and tell you exactly where we're going, guys. The map can be really, really tricky, so we're just gonna have to keep track of each screen. Once we're at this part, we're gonna press the Y button to jump out of our mech. We're gonna use the cat to swim down here. follow the path that I used just here and out to the left and now we want to get up here and jump across to the left once again follow the only path available here and here is the rockets as I mentioned before okay once you've got that head over to the right we're gonna save the game again Grab, jump back in our suit and head to the right. Using the rockets to destroy these rocks here. You have to jump to destroy those. And again here. Destroying those means that we can get up here and the same there. And you can get up there without falling like I did. And up we go, watch out for the frog. You 
can use uh, shooting the rocket down like that gives you a little bit of extra height. Didn't have to do that, but uh, when I was doing this recording, I was actually still just experimenting with a few things. Um, wasn't a hundred percent sure that this recording was going to be used for this part of the guide. Um, so if little things don't match up with what with what um, you've got on the screen, guys, just follow what I do. Don't worry about anything else. Uh, if you follow these videos, I will take you everywhere you need to go and get all of the pickups you need to get. Okay, here is our first boss fight. This is the landing site boss. And this is a little mouse who always jumps in these contraptions. And that's who we have to fight. For this first phase, guys, he's going to shoot these bouncy ball things at you. Just avoid them. He's always going to jump off to one side and then jump off to the other. And what you need to do is jump and shoot a rocket into the head part of the mech. Just be patient and avoid. Now, this second section here, just avoid the laser. What you would really want to do is actually have the rocket, not what I'm doing here. Um, I guess it does work what I'm doing here. But you can also shoot the rocket up above him where it explodes into the roof and the splashback still damages him. Okay, and here we are repeating phase one. Guys, I am not an expert on the combat and the best way to beat this game. I have beaten it um, six or seven times now, but I'm just not great at these this type, this type of game. What I wanted this to be, guys, is a guide for you guys to follow and be able to pick up all of the collectibles and things like that. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned before, I'm not going to cover the speed run. Um, it is very difficult. And what I want my guides to be, and there's the end of the boss fight already, guys. It's not too difficult um, in that sense. But what I want the, my guides to be, guys, is I want people um, of all different skill levels to be able to follow along. So if something's super, super hard, even though I could probably practice and get that speed run achievement, there's no point me showing you a guide of me finally getting it on my umpteenth run um, and just recording that. Uh, by the way, make sure you shoot the uh, flooring after the boss. Come down here with the cat and get the health upgrade. You're going to need plenty of those. There's 10 of them all up. And that there is number one, of course. So directly after the boss, head through that little area and make sure you swim down below to get health upgrade number one. So I was a bit distracted with my explanation of why I'm not doing the speed run. All right, then head up this way. I'll try and be more descriptive of where I'm going. Find some, for some of you that helps. All right. Once again, I used um, the rocket jump there. That is not the rocket jump that I was talking about at the start of the little video. Up, and once we go up, we're gonna head right now. You can use the rockets to get rid of these enemies. Ignore the enemies up the top. If you feel like just running past these enemies, that's okay too. And here is where we're gonna actually really need to use rocket jump. Normally, we wouldn't be going this way until we get the double jump. As you see there, as I shoot the rockets into the wall there, it propelled me up. And this is how we get our first cartridge. Uh, I can't remember the name of this one. This one is called Nicotine. Uh, you will notice I cut the video just to um, show the cartridge. And what the cartridges do is change the color of the game, basically. So we'll just, um, I'll use each one when, after I get them, when I remember to. I think there's a couple of edits where I forget to use the cartridge but there we go grab that and head all the way back to the left now yeah so you might need to watch how I did that rocket jump guys I'm gonna be doing plenty of them though and that was a good spot a good first spot to practice it as well guys there's no penalty for falling you can just stand there and practice believe me I did as well um, to get that first cartridge all right. But yeah, you will eventually get good at the rocket jump if you persist at practicing it. It feels almost impossible at first. Um, one of the tips is to press the jump button at the same time that you shoot the rocket. Give you a little bit of an extra boost, guys. That's what I found helpful anyway. All right, here we are going back past our ship. Destroy the flooring there. Fall down and head to the right and stand on this button. Once 
once you've done the button, head all the way to the left until you find this opening. Head up and then left, and we're gonna get health upgrade number two. And from here, guys, we're gonna head back to the right. We're gonna go get the next cartridge. Drop down that first gap. And here, what you wanna do is shoot this wall out in the middle uh, of these two pipes. Small enough gap just for the cat to fit through. So out you get, and through we go and swim through here. And here is cartridge number two. This one's called Bark. Once again, it's in the video description with the timestamps. And we drop down here for a save and get our suit back. Head it back to the left. Once we get out here, climb all the way up the top, shoot your way through here. We're gonna have to shoot the uh, blockages here. And this is the big elevator that takes us down uh, into what's called the Nexus and it's sort of a, a bit of a hub world and from there different elevators actually take you to different areas or levels of the game. Now like I said before, normally you would go to one particular elevator that would take you down to the easier area and you would know this and just uh, this is just all story stuff here guys go and step on this button. This is the elevator that we want to go down at the end of the game to get to the end but we've got a few things we have to do first. This guy here, when you bring him certain numbers of cartridges, he will give you certain upgrades. We need to find all of the cartridges to get a particular upgrade that there's an achievement for, and of course, we will be doing that. All right, so just have a quick chat to him, get your bearings, and then head up, and then out to the right here. And guys, here we have another tricky spot that we couldn't really do without rocket jumping but we could have gotten up here with the um, double jump. And this is why we're going, or this is how we're gonna get to the second area, guys. So we're gonna use that bug. It just keeps on coming out. We're gonna use the bug to get up to that first platform and then rocket jump up to the second area. Another spot that might take you a, a few goes if you're new to the game um, and use a uh, down rocket to give you enough height to get across that gap there as well, guys. Wait for the lava and head this way. Let's get rid of these enemies before the doors will open again. Just waiting. Sometimes the rocket, you have to wait for the cooldown. Can we will be upgrading that at some point, guys, so that you can fire more rockets before uh, it needs to cool down. Oh, there we go jumped right into that but once again it doesn't really matter and here is the health upgrade health kit what's this one number three back the way we came use the same method to get across and back out the way we came again and in through here, and this is the elevator uh, down into what's known as area or level two, guys. I believe the map calls it the ventilation level or something like that. Right. And by beating this area, we will get the achievement for the sequence break as well, guys. Shoot these uh, blocks away so that you can step on this button. Get all the story stuff done. Shoot your way back out if you have to. Cross the, uh, past the elevator, across to the left. I'm gonna use rocket jump to get up here. You see me fail it twice. Not yet, Oz. There we go. And yeah, I normally would uh, record this commentary live with the playthrough guys uh, but I have been having a few voice issues I kept losing my voice uh, from over talking um, so I did record this a few days ago I've let my voice recover a little bit and now I'm recording this using the uh, rocket jumps against the wall to get up through here as well guys now if you see me taking a lot of dumb damage it's usually because I already know um, sort of what's ahead 
and how much health we need. The, it's very, very uh, convenient, the placement of the saves and the uh, other pickups that fill our health for us. So um, I don't really, I'm not trying to do a, you know, a no damage run or anything like that. Okay, here is another group of enemies that we have to beat to continue. Now, what I do here is actually not necessary. You can actually kill these guys from underneath with your rockets. The explosion, if you shoot the flooring underneath them, will destroy them from underneath. And that's the uh, save that I was talking about to refill our health. And once again, we need a rocket jump up here, across the left, drop down here, all the way down, and to the left. More rocket jumps to get up here. Yeah, it is something that if you can't get the hang of, you won't be able to get all the achievements in this game, that's for sure, guys. Very skill-based. Um, I nearly considered not doing a guide at all, um, but I figured, you know, we get a good um, bunch of gamer score just for the run that we do here. Um, it is also, even if you can't do the speed run, if you can do this run, you can definitely do a run um, of beating the game without picking up all the health upgrades because as I just mentioned, the uh, um, save points and all that are very convenient. The only hard parts of the game that you need, that you will you know, find yourself doing over and over again um, without health upgrades are the boss fights, but they're very doable as well. All right, another save there, another fill up of our health. Some more dumb damage taken there. Really don't have to take out these enemies. I'm just trying to get him out of my way so I can uh, get on this platform. Use rocket jumps to get up here. You can use just one rocket jump against the, the horizontal pipe there if you have to. All right, now we can get out. Oh, it was one of the enemies I do have to take out. Forgive me, guys. All right, up through the left and then drop all the way down and left again. And I do believe, no, not here. Using uh, the rocket to propel us a little bit further on those jumps. Just tank some damage there. Left again and to yet another save. I think I counted, I saved over 40 times. Um, for those wondering guys, this is video number one and here's mini boss number one for the, this is the heater core mini boss one. Uh, there are gonna be four videos for this playthrough guys. I've broken it up into four videos. Um, this guy here, you just have to avoid the lava as it comes down from above and continue shooting your rockets. You can shoot some of your normal ammo into him as well. And then avoid these um, shots that he shoots out at you. But yeah, once again, guys, especially with all the help that we pick up, I did consider doing you know a bit of a more in-depth um, strategy for beating the bosses, but Hopefully it's not necessary, guys. It's um, with all the health we've already picked up. Uh, what are we at? We've got nine max health or 10 even. No, I think it's nine at the moment. Um, you can really, really tank this guy if you have to, as you can see here, I've still got six health left. Um, but if you follow what I'm doing, it's fairly safe. And there we go. As soon as you get the dialogue, he has been defeated. Once he's done, head off to the right. We're actually heading, um, going to be heading for Heater Core Mini Boss number two. Um, but we've got a bit of a hike to get there. Just get past all the enemies. Use Rocket Jump to get up the this area here. Again here, we're going to use rocket jump. Uh, we'll just wait for this guy. There we go. This one, this one, I remember having trouble with. I'm having trouble with it here in the recording. There we go. Rocket jump on that platform. We've got to do a down rocket and then a rocket jump off the side of the platform. Like I said, guys, uh, 
Once you've practiced and you're good at it, that's not too difficult. But at the start, at this stage of the game for your first run, it might still be a little bit difficult to get all these jumps. Okay, and then we're going across here using another uh, rocket shooting down to get through here. Got another battle where we have to kill all the enemies. All two of them. And a rocket jump to get back up across. All the way to our right here. And this is one of the areas where we do have to destroy all the enemies again, guys. What I'm waiting for here, wait for his flamethrower. We want to get around the other side of him if we can. Just like that. Shot a rocket at him on the way past. Shot down at him. We shoot down through the platform to kill that enemy on the other side. And now we can just shoot our rockets from a safe distance at that guy over there. And that's all of them to get through the doors. I'm trying to do a, a rocket jump to get up to that platform right above us there. And this is with me editing out some of my mistakes, guys. So you can see I was still struggling with the rocket jumps. And I, I figured I was that bad at it that if I can do it, you guys can do it too. That's why I continued to make the guide. Oh, and all the way back down. All right, try again. Ow. I feel like I'm doing it live. Pressure's on here, Oz. Do it, mate. Do it. See, sometimes I'm standing still there because I'm waiting for my rocket launcher thingamajig to cool down as well. And again... Third time, oh boy. Okay, now you gotta do it another two times. All right, same again here. And here. Hey. And through here to the left. No, not that way. Ah, oh, that's right. We gotta shoot the door so it's open so that we can stand here and then rocket jump up above it. Very, very tricky that one. Actually, I had a lot of trouble with that one at first. All right, continue to move on our way up. And now through the door on the left. I'm gonna use a rocket, but I'm waiting for this guy. Yeah, that guy there that was flying over. Now we're gonna use a rocket jump to get across this gap. We don't actually need to kill him, so maybe we won't. Just ahead of range here. Now obviously firing the rocket shoots me back into his flame, the guy on the right. So you just gotta be careful there, especially if you were low on health. And if, as long as you get through, don't worry, because there is a save and a heal right here. In fact, if I had my time again there, I would just tank it through and take even more damage just to get through a bit faster. Okay, here's another spot where we gotta use a tricky jump. We need that enemy to get him to respawn. Just head to the right and head back across to the left. Hey, there is a reminder on the bottom of the screen, guys. I do stream every day over on Twitch. So my streams start at 9 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So come and see me over on Twitch. I usually, usually stream for about eight hours a day. I've had to um, drop that down just a tiny bit for a little while while my voice recovers. But other than that, guys, please uh, come and say hi over there. I love seeing guys from YouTube um, come say hi on Twitch as well. It all helps me uh, make these guides, guys. And a lot of the time, I'm actually practicing for these guides when I'm playing over on Twitch and definitely achievement hunting as well. All right, this enemy here, uh, once he's seen you, he will charge up and then head across. Um, he will not sort of deviate or stop once he's started his little drill. Take care of him, head through here yet again for another save. And here we go for the second mini boss fight, Heater Core number two. Same, pretty much the same strategy. The only difference really is the um, lava, little, little tiny lava pit thingy in the floor. 
um, and the placement of the lava above us is a little bit different. Or it feels different from this angle anyway. Or from this side of the screen. So that thing gets in the way a lot, so some of your rockets get blocked by that little lava thing jumping out. But it's really the same principle, guys. Jump, rocket, avoid the shots. Jump, rocket, avoid the shots. Jump, rocket. Sometimes you can, you can fit in two. When he shoots one of them, you can either shoot it back at him if you're lucky enough. Otherwise, you're going to need to uh, jump. And then you can actually rocket jump to avoid that blast completely. But yeah, we have to save almost immediately before the boss fight. So if you get... Um, get in trouble with it. Don't worry, just keep keep trying. You will get it, guys. Now, these rockets, you can actually... The rockets that he's shooting at you now, if you don't get them with your rockets, just use your normal ammo. It takes those rockets out really, really easy if you're uh, in trouble with I am. Um, it's just sort of, obviously, not doing that. Just being silly, I guess. Because once again, I was just recording this... Um, just as a practice run, guys, but then decided to use this um, to show you guys where everything is. Alright, and that is an achievement as well for beating this second mini boss. Now, the lava on the floor there, later on, you need to come back. Um, that has gone hard. We can shoot our way through it uh, for another, I think it's a cartridge or a health upgrade. I think, yeah, it's definitely a cartridge down there. So we'll come back for that a little bit later. If you're looking at a map and thinking, oh, you know, because there are maps available for this game online um, that show you where all the collectibles are. Um, but that that's not good enough, just having the map. You have to know when and where... Um, not where, you have to know when to get these things as well. The map will tell you where. But yeah, we can't access some of them just yet. Right, heading down here, another ro handy rocket jump there. Once again, you don't need to take out those enemies, so if you don't have to, don't. Continue on to the right. This is the phase module upgrade. It's really not missable, it's part of the story really. Um, you come through here after beating that boss, and it lets you phase through things like this lava and enemies as well, guys. So, And it's also a bit of a quicker way to get around. All right, so all the way to the right, drop down and now phase through here. We wouldn't have been able to get through here without the phase module. Okay, guys, as we make our way through to the last save point, uh, for this, for this video guys I want to remind you that I did just start the Achievement College podcast the first episode is live on my channel now and it's also available on podcast services as well uh, please go check that out if that interests you and let me know what you think in the comments over on that video now here I must have forgotten that you can just phase through that phase past this enemy as well we don't need to take out these enemies in fact you're better off just tanking your way all the way through the left. Same with this enemy, you can just phase straight past him. Or you can take him out, up to you. Thanks again though for all the support I am getting on the channel guys. Um, the reason I decided to start sort of branching out a little bit more is because we're starting to get some support over on Patreon. The support I get there is going to help me um, you know, pay my bills and be able to make guides like this, guys. So please head over to Patreon. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, this is part one of four. I'll catch you guys on the next one. There's the bell. You know what that means. Class dismissed.